Oh, hello. I'm just admiring this wonderful picture we have here of the Saturn V rocket here at the Air Zoo. It's the rocket that propelled the Apollo missions to the moon. But here on the bottom, look at the flames coming out of these engines. These are Rocketdyne F1 engines. Each engine produces one and a half million pounds of thrust. Wouldn't it be really cool if we could see one of those? Hey, wait a minute. What the? So yes, the Air Zoo has its own F1 engine, as you can see here on display, and it's suspended as well. Now Rocketdyne only delivered 98 of these engines, and 65 were used on the Saturn V rockets, so the remainder were quite rare, so we're real fortunate that we have one here. Now the engines, as I mentioned, produce a million and a half pounds of thrust each, five of them on the Saturn V rocket, that's seven and a half million pounds of thrust, and they use liquid oxygen and RP1, which is a type of kerosene. And in two and a half minutes, which is a total burn time for these engines, they will consume 504,000 gallons of liquid oxygen and RP1. Imagine the amount of fluids moving through these engines. Plus, as you can see, our F1 engine is suspended and you can walk up underneath it and see everything inside of it. In addition to these engines, the Saturn V rocket also used another rocket dyne engine called a J2. And it just so happens that the Air Zoo has one of those as well, but it's in our main building so let's head on over there and take a look at that engine as well. So here we are over at the main building and there's our Rocketdyne J2 engine. Now these engines were on the Saturn V rocket, five in the second stage and one in the third stage. And in fact, let's take just a quick closer look at the Saturn V rocket to see where those were. So here we have a nice diagram of the entire Saturn V rocket. So here we have the first stage of the Saturn V rocket with the five F1 engines that we've already talked about. Then moving up, we have the second stage with the five J2 engines here. And then the third stage with the single J2 engine sitting in there. Here is the instrument unit or the brains of the Saturn V rocket. And then sitting on top, we have the Apollo Command Module, Service Module, and the Lunar Module, the small module that will land on the moon itself. Now, each J2 engine produces 225,000 pounds of thrust. The engine is powered by liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. Liquid hydrogen kept at minus 423 degrees Imagine what they had to do to create the storage tanks for those. Now, one interesting fact a lot of people don't realize is there are five J-2 engines on the surface of the moon. You ask, how is that? Well, on the third stage of the Saturn V rocket, from the Apollo missions 13 through 17, they deliberately separated the third part of the Saturn V rocket and sent it on a trajectory to impact the moon. And they did that to trigger seismic equipment that had been left on the moon by Apollo 12. So, on the moon are five impact craters created by the third stage of the Saturn V rocket with the single J2 engine left inside of it. So again, every time you come to the Air Zoo, you're going to go around a corner, you're going to see something new you've never seen before, just like these engines, and we hope that you make plans to see us real soon.